Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new, my name is Jasmine. If you've been here, welcome back. I just wanted to show you guys what my hair looks like before I actually cut it because it's very damaged and you can see the ends are really like gross. So all you're gonna need is two scrunchies, a comb, some scissors, and a rat tail comb. And the scissors, I did get them from Sally's. I believe they were $15 or so. So you're just gonna part your hair wherever you normally part it every day. And I'm gonna split my hair in half and just make sure you brush it really good because you don't want it to be uneven when you do cut your hair. Um, all you're gonna do is make a very, very, very tight ponytail to make sure that all your hair is together when you do cut it, that way you can avoid it being super uneven. And you're gonna do this on both sides. Just remember to keep the ponytail as tight as you can because you are gonna drag it down. Okay, so once you have the two ponytails on here, you're gonna go ahead and drag them both down until you get them even. And you're just gonna stop wherever you wanna cut. I wanted to cut pretty decent amount. So as you guys can see, it's even there. And I'm just gonna go ahead and cut under the scrunchie, not over it, to make sure that it's even. And as you guys can see, it's a very straight, blunt cut. You can leave it like that if you want to. I don't like that look. So I'm going to go ahead and part it right above my ears. And you're just going to clip your top half up. Just because you want to work in sections, it'll be much easier than trying to do it all together. And that way you won't miss any spots. And then all you're going to do is bring it forward. And I'm going to show you guys just how I go ahead and cut it to where it's not straight forward. It gives it kind of dimension. So you're gonna just hold it really tight and bring down your fingers this way. And with the scissors, you're gonna point cut sideways. And you're gonna do this to where it's even. You don't. You just want it to be even. You don't want it to be that straight line that kind of looks, I don't know, I just don't like the way that it looks. And you're just gonna go section per section, like these small sections, you don't wanna make them too big. And you're just gonna go all around your hair doing the exact same thing. And I'm just going to show you closer. As you guys can see, I'm not cutting a lot. I'm just pretty much making sure that it's even without that straight line. And then you can bring your hair forward just to make sure that it's even on both sides. Just drag your fingers down. And if it's not, you're just going to do the same thing and point cut until they're even on both sides. So once you're done with that section, you're just going to go ahead and section a little bit above right here on your temple as you can see. And you're going to do the exact same thing. You're just going to put your hair up and then uh, bring it forward and go all around doing the exact same thing you just did. Okay, so this is the part where if you guys want layers, I'm going to show you how I add my layers at the top. If you don't want layers, then you're just going to do the exact same thing that I showed you guys at the other two sections. Um, but the difference is, so if you want the layers, you're going to hold your hair the same way, like upwards. But you're going to cut going down. So I'll show you guys, you see how it looks so dead, all those ends. So you're just going to cut them at this angle and it'll give you the layers that way. Again, if you don't want layers, you don't have to do this. You just do the exact same thing that you did on the two sections below it.
so the last thing I'm going to show you guys is my bangs, how I cut those. They're not very long. All I'm going to do is just even them out. So you just want to pull them straight up to where you can see um, where you'll cut the even part. And I cut them straight forward and then I point cut it just to make sure that it looks like the rest of my hair. Um, if you don't have bangs, you don't have to do this. It's just, I do. They're just very small. So I'm going to go ahead and just straighten my hair so you guys can see what it looks like straight. I do use the Olaplex oil and it just makes your hair feel so much better and it's a heat protectant. But this is what it'll look like once it's straight. As you guys can see, it already looks much healthier without those dead ends and it just feels so much smoother. Like you can actually run your fingers through it without feeling gross. And I'm also going to show you guys what it looks like a little bit waved just because I do like putting waves on my hair. But you don't have to it's just that's the style that I prefer with this haircut and there it is so that is all as you guys can see it's really easy you just have to get over the fear of actually using the scissors but um, if you guys can see it's very just very healthy so yeah that is all guys thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one bye